Ever wondered how American football teams strategize their game plan? The primary objective is simple. Score more points than your opponent. You achieve this by either moving the ball into the end zone for a touchdown or kicking it through the goalposts for a field goal. Understanding these key objectives paves the way for understanding the strategies involved. Now, let's delve into the offensive strategies. The two primary weapons in an offense's arsenal are running and passing. Running is all about rushing the ball downfield, often through gaps in the defense, like a battering ram going full tilt. On the flip side, passing is much like a game of chess, throwing the ball to bypass the defense entirely. Teams alternate between these strategies, creating a complex dance of deception to keep the defense guessing. Remember, the key to a successful offense is unpredictability and exploiting gaps in the defense. On the flip side, we have the defensive strategies. The defense's primary goal is to thwart the offense from scoring. They do this by tackling the ball carrier or intercepting passes. It's a game of mind and muscle. Understanding the opposing team's tactics is crucial. By reading the game and predicting the offense's moves, the defense can adapt their strategy on the fly. It's not just about physical power, but mental agility too. A good defense is all about anticipation and adaptation. Don't forget about the special teams, they're crucial too. Their role? Kicking off, punting and field goal attempts. These plays can swing the game's momentum. A well-executed kick or a successful field goal can change everything. Special teams can often be the unsung heroes of a game. So we've covered a lot about American football strategies. We delved into the offensive, defensive and special team strategies, all vital to the game. Understanding these strategies truly enhances our appreciation of the sport. Remember, every play in American football is a battle of strategies. That's what makes it so exciting.